I have been going through everything in my room trying to find stuff to get rid of. I have not gone through my books yet and I didn't know whether you guys would want to see that. So if you do, just let me know. I just feel better getting rid of stuff and I feel healthier. But yeah, so let me know if you guys want to see me going through my books. Hey guys, this is Volpix Candy and today I will be doing a book review on All the Pretty Girls by JT Ellison. <music> Excuse my pyjamas and unmade up face. I am trying to stop using makeup for a little bit just so my face can relax. Anyway, kind of a bit of a heads up. This is a crime fiction novel and some of the details and plot is kind of gory and real creepy. So if you don't like any of that stuff, then I would recommend exiting out of this video and also probably not reading this book. I'm going to try and keep it as PG as I can. I don't really want to delve too much into it but I know some people can get a bit weirded out because I know at first I was weirded out by this book but it was a really good storyline so I kind of just looked over it so yeah. Okay so basically this book follows around Lieutenant Taylor Jackson and her FBI boyfriend who team up to find the Southern Strangler who is a serial killer in Tennessee. The book does look at another criminal called the Rain Man but predominantly the whole focus is on the Southern Strangler. The Southern Strangler will find youngish girls, 18 to 23-ish, and he will have sex with them. Most of the time it's consensual, so sometimes he appears as a trusting person and sometimes he just straight out grabs them and takes them back to his hotel room or wherever he is, strangle them, cut off their hands, and then he will dump the body with one of the previous victim's hands. So yeah, it's kind of weird. And he does this for about, I think, six to eight girls in the book. I don't remember 100%, but yeah, it's really creepy. I thought the characters were really great. It took a while for me to warm up to some of them and definitely the way the book was written, you couldn't really trust everyone all the time. I know I definitely didn't. And I thought certain people may have done certain things, but they hadn't. So it was a little bit confusing in that sense, but at the same time that makes it really good because you don't know who's done what. I thought that Southern Strangler's identity was pretty obvious early on. However, as the story progressed, I still kind of had my doubts. So it was still a surprise at the end and especially how everything turned out. The ending definitely threw a spanner in the works. I thought it was done very well. The book has pretty short chapters and I think that's why I kind of glided through it. I really enjoy reading short chaptered books because I don't know, you just keep reading and reading because you think, oh, it's only a couple more pages. So that was definitely a plus for me. It also goes through quite a few different points of view and I also really enjoyed that. It did get a little confusing at some points when you had to try and keep up with multiple stories, but it did change stories right as you were getting to some answers. That was a little annoying, but at the same time, like, kept you wanting to read. So that was also very engaging and exciting. Character development wise, I have two favorite characters within the book. The first one being obviously Lieutenant Taylor Jackson. Usually I don't like really strong female characters in the police force kind of thing, because I think that they just try too hard and they're too tough. But Taylor Jackson, she really pulled it off. She did it so well. She made me want to be a police officer. That's how good she was. She was very inspiring as well. The whole girl power thing that was going on. I thought she was a fantastic character. It was definitely realistic. She wasn't just like a badass female character. She was also soft in some parts, which really brought a sense of truth to her character. And the second character that was my favourite is, of course, the Southern Strangler. I know that sounds horrible, but I just thought that he was kind of ingenious the way he went about doing what he was doing. He also uses poetry a lot throughout the book and it just kind of, I don't know, I just love the whole psychotic side to the character. and why he does what he does, his motives and the way he does things just, yeah, I just, I can't, it's just, it's hard to explain, but he's a really good character. I would always look forward to reading his point of view in the story because, I don't know, it's just so different to everyone else's point of views because everyone else's was typical. The Strangler's point of view was just poetic in itself, so I really, really enjoyed that. This book was my first crime fiction novel. Honestly, it's made me really want to read more crime fiction. Just 
you know, trying to figure out who done what and the suspense, it was just amazing. I loved it so much. And the short chapters really helped to speed that up as well. I thought that was a fantastic idea to have like short chapters. If you're thinking of kind of delving into crime fiction, I would recommend this book 100%. I've never really considered the genre before, but now after reading this, yes, <laughs> yes. I can't say yes enough. I gave All The Pretty Girls five out of five stars. It made me go through so many emotions and I was definitely scared reading this because I read it a lot at night. So maybe don't read it at night, but yeah, go for it. This is such a good book. I glided through this. So yeah, check it out if you want to because I think that it is a fantastic book and I can't recommend it enough. So yeah. Okay guys, so that was my book review on All the Pretty Girls by JT Ellison. I hope you enjoyed it and if you have any questions just let me know down below. Don't hesitate. I have my uni schedule now. As soon as I go back I'm thinking of uploading every Thursday. That's going to be the best day for me and then it should be pretty much consistent for you guys. So yeah, let me know what you think. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to just do one video a week because my uni load's getting heavier. If that's okay, guys. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.